morning, guys. Uh, well, afternoon. It is afternoon. Um, I am in the garage today, as you could probably tell. This is my car. This is a 2008 uh, Volkswagen Jetta. Well, I am going to paint my calipers red today. Um, so I was going to kind of walk you through, guys, and how I do it. Um, I have already jacked the whole car up, so if you can uh, maybe tell, so the two front is uh, on the front jacks, and the back is on the jack that comes with the car, and then I have this two-ton jack here. Um, I would, if I had two other jacks to put it on, I would put it on that, but I don't, and since no one's, since no one's not going to be under the car, I'm not too really worried about it, um, if the car does fall. Alright guys, so I'm going to start, go ahead, um, I've already cracked these, so make sure you crack them before... So, just go ahead and start undoing them. so I can have these covers with the bolts. So make sure you keep those with too. So now we're gonna move on to the front. And I did not crack these tires. I did not crack these tires yet. So you'll see firsthand how annoying it is when you have to crack them. So, if you didn't crack them, put a piece of wood under your car, under the tire, just like how I did. That should help you get them undone. All right, guys. So I uh, just got all the tires off now, and I'm gonna go show you guys what each side looks like. Um, I can even tell, like even my rotors probably need to be started getting replaced soon. I got over 100,000 miles on this now. So, so this is uh, the front left. So this is the caliper, so if this is the rotor, this is what I was talking about, how, uh, you know, it's starting to come off now. So I might need to get some new rotors for it. And uh, so it's honestly not too, too dirty. Um, I mean, obviously I think some of this is just rust and some of it is brake dust, as you can see. Uh, so I'll need to clean some of that off. Let's run around to the back here. Like this guy, you know, he might need some... So, so those rotors actually look pretty good. Then we'll run around to this side. These look pretty good. The rotors look good. Uh, I might need to clean some of that off. Uh, those look good. And then to the right front again. So yeah, I mean, obviously the, the front rotors obviously get the most abuse when braking because the car goes forward. Um, because of the weight of the car goes forward. So this is the front. This is the front caliper that I'm going to be painting as well. Uh, I'll show you the paint that I'm using, the brush, and how I'm going to paint this. I might even tape some of it up uh, just so, you know, just so some of the paint doesn't get everywhere. And I know that this paint is actually pretty thick, so hopefully it doesn't get everywhere. But if it does, then uh, hopefully I'll have it taped up. Like I do have to go run to the store real quick. I'm going to take you guys with me to go to Advanced Auto, and then we're going to get some, some brake cleaner, clean these brakes off a little bit. Um, hopefully I'll only need one can, but I'll let you guys know. actual name of it actually but it's really thick and he's got he's got an Audi uh, a6 2014 I believe so and they have much much larger, larger cap calipers than mine 
So one one can of this will do you just fine for even a couple of cars. I feel like. So. Um, oh, and this is the brush. I think that, I believe that comes with it. Or the back left tire, caliper. Excuse me. And I got my brake cleaner. I already went through them once to see what was on it, see how it went and everything, and it worked pretty well. So I'm gonna kind of go through it real quick for you guys just to see how I did it. So I'm pretty much just spraying it on. I mean, nothing else you can really do. So just really kind of getting everything as much as possible. See all that brake stuff coming off at the bottom. Uh, you just wanna kind of get everything as off as much as you possibly can. And then, that's pretty dirty, huh? Sorry. Make sure you get all that nice brake dust off. All that corrosive stuff. I'm almost out of this can. Thank God I got two or more. Uh, go ahead and continue cleaning. Cleaning these brakes. Um, so this stuff actually drives pretty quick. So I had to do a voiceover for this. Uh, for some reason, the GoPro audio was not working. Wasn't sure why. Don't know why, but um, you guys could hear my voice on a voiceover. Anyways, so uh, as you can see now, I am applying the first coat for the calipers. The ref. This is the left front caliper. Um, so the best advice that I'd give was that this paint applies very, very thick. Um, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, you really want to try to get into those nitty gritty cracks first. Uh, that, I think that was the best strategy that I went with um, because of the later coats you can kind of just do a nice brush over but get into those nitty nitty cracks really try to focus on those tight spaces I mean depending on how um, how you want your project to look like or how you want your calipers to look like completely up to you I was kind of going for um, you know a, a pretty good job not like something that was over the top I really didn't get like behind the caliper or anything like that but something that I wanted to look great and to last a long time. So I did a couple of coats, but it's completely up to you and how you guys want to apply it or how, how much you want to apply it or where you want to apply it uh, or if you want to take the caliper off. But I decided not to take the caliper off because I thought it was um, easy for me and best for me just to keep it on because I'm really not going to take it off anyways, unless I'm going to get rid of the car. All right, so I've done, so I've done one coat on the caliper. Uh, looks pretty good. So I'm obviously going to go back around. I did all of them through one coat. But I didn't want to have you guys just sit through all that and have you do any stuff. Uh, it's not perfect. It's not going to be perfect. I don't really need it to be perfect. The tire is going to be on there. So it's not going to look amazing. I just wanted something to look a little bit better, a little bit different than what it was. Um, and I've always kind of wanted red calipers. Granted, being on a Jetta, it's not like the most appealing thing. But... Thing looks pretty good so far. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start with the second coat on this side, um, and after that, I will show it to you guys again. Okay. Regardless, um, if you guys can still hear me, uh, just make sure if you do paint your calipers, make sure you wait at least you know three four hours to even put the tires back on. Just just in case you want to hit the tire. Uh, or you don't want to hit the tire with the caliper and then you know screw up the paint or the hardware you just did uh, Definitely have you know an afternoon to do this because this probably took me You know two hours to do this whole thing and I only did two coats Because uh, that first coat does take a while because you really want to get to like that nitty-gritty kind of stuff um, But really have You know a set time of day on the weekend or whenever you decide to do it to paint your calipers guys it is done uh, these are them look pretty good uh, I'm happy the way the paint how it came out I know it's not perfect it's, uh, it's not gonna be perfect I'm not a professional 
for sure. But if you guys like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And uh, please comment, like, and subscribe. Thanks, guys. Oh.